Liberal Dan Radio presents Fat Man Rants. Haven't done one of these for a while, but this whole thing with the Marilla Gestapo is pissing me off because you have this president who claimed that he was going to get retribution against American citizens for defacing property. I mean, retribution? That's putting on a little too thick there, Donnie boy, don't you think? Well, I want to know, first of all, and I know that I'm unreasonable for being mad about this, perhaps, but where are the conservatives with Portland? Where are the Second Amendment gun nuts going, I have the right to bear arms specifically to fight back against a tyrannical government? Where are you? That's tyranny. Right there. Go. Go do your thing. But we all know why you're not going. You're not going because it's not about their constitutional rights. It's about your constitutional rights because you don't care about rights for brown people. And that's what the people are protesting. Black Lives Matter. You don't believe that black lives matter. You don't believe that they should. That's why you're not going to stand up and, and be consistent with your thoughts. God forbid I actually demand that somebody be consistent with their thoughts. Oh my God. Now, what is he doing? He, he's sending troops or federal agents or whatever you want to call them. They're dressed up in military tar garb. They're not identified as to who they are. And they're armed to the teeth. So yeah, they're troops. Rose by any other name would still stink. So they're sending the troops to Portland to go deal with the you know, insurrection of, of the people who are protesting, as is their right to do so. And then there's talk, he's going to send them to Chicago. He's going to send them what, to Albuquerque. It's been reported that they're on, they're waiting to protect federal assets in Seattle as well. What other cities are these troops or federal agents or whatever you want to call them are going to go to next? And this is what I'm worried about. What happens when they stop just wanting to protect federal assets and they start wanting to protect other things like elections because we all know he's going to fight tooth and nail against mail-in voting even though we're in the middle of a pandemic but then he's also going to send these federal agents who are armed to the teeth to defend elections and it's going to make people not want to come out to the polls because they're not want to deal with those federal agents or troops or whatever it is and that's how he's going to try and steal this election.